What's up, math scholars and math haters? This is Mr. W. Today we're going to tackle question 24 in the 8th grade math questions that North Carolina released this past school year. The question tells us that Alexis has a cylindrical trash can with a diameter of 24 centimeters and a height of 42 centimeters. And we're supposed to find the approximate volume of the can in cubic centimeters. Now, as you might have expected, the big skill this problem tests you on is finding the volume of a cylinder. There's one little trick there that I do want to go over um, how it could get you the wrong answer if you're not careful. So let's go ahead and start by writing down the formula for the volume of a cylinder. The volume of a cylinder is pi times the radius squared, which you should recognize as the area of a circle, times height. Now if we think about a circle, pi r squared is the area of this circle, and then if we have a cylinder, then the height of that cylinder is just the distance from one circle to the other. And you might have already seen the formula for the volume of a different kind of prism, like a, a triangular prism, where you would figure out the area of a triangle and then just multiply that by the distance from one of your triangular faces to the other. Now, let's go ahead and talk about what actual dimensions and numbers we're going to use because it does, the problem does try to trick us here by telling us that the diameter of this cylindrical trash can is 24 centimeters. Now r, what we need for the formula, is actually the radius. Diameter is all the way across. Radius is halfway across. So what that tells me is that I'm going to need to use another quick formula that radius equals the diameter divided by 2. So in this case, our diameter is 24, so 24 divided by 2 equals 12. Our radius is 12. So let's go ahead and plug 12 in for the formula here. The problem also says that the height was 42 centimeters, so we can plug that in as well. Let's use that same formula and say that volume equals pi times 12 squared times 42, and this is all something that I can just type into my calculator on one line. So that's pi times 12 squared times 42. So the hard part was getting to these numbers, but it gave us 19,000 and something. I come down to my answer choices. None of them say this exact number, but thankfully we're just finding the approximate volume, and the approximate volume is actually just going to be 19,000. Now I do want to go over the trick answer because what if I forgot that this was the diameter and not the radius and I plugged it into my formula and tried to find pi times 24 squared times 42 where I wrote 24 in for my radius without actually remembering that it's my diameter. Well, I could type it in the same way, pi times 24 squared times 42 and when I press equals it gives me almost exactly 76,000 centimeters. So the person who made this question actually put this trick answer in there, expecting some people to forget that 24 is your diameter and not your radius, so that you would use 24 in place of your radius and get that trick answer, but that's not how we do the problem. We need to remember diameter versus radius, and that radius is half of diameter, because radius just goes halfway across the circle. 